Ask most people what their first vehicle was, and most of the time they'll probably tell you it was a used vehicle. Well, why? Well, obviously because a used vehicle tends to be a lot cheaper to buy than a new one, or even to lease a new vehicle. Most of the time when you buy a used vehicle that's being advertised privately, you don't have to pay the goods and service tax. So it's a little cheaper that way as well. So in this clip, we'll take a look at a math problem that involves a used vehicle. Let's have a look at our first example problem. A used car is advertised for sale in a newspaper for $4,500. In A, calculate the total cost of the vehicle. And then in B, calculate the monthly payment for a $4,500 loan at 8% interest, compounded monthly, for two years. All right, well then A, it asks for the total cost of the vehicle. And that's open to interpretation because, well, the total cost could include things like gas or those little pine air fresheners, anything that you put in your car. But usually what they mean by total cost of the vehicle is the price you pay plus the tax. Now, since we're talking about a used car, it's being sold privately in a newspaper, the resale value doesn't include the GST, it's just the PST, the provincial sales tax. And right now it's 8%. Do you remember what 8% is in decimal form? 0 0.08. We'll need that to do our math. Now in order to find the total cost, it's just really one line of math. It looks like this. The total cost is equal to the price for the car, which is $4,500, times 1 plus whatever our tax rate happens to be in decimal form. So in this case, it's $4,500, 1 plus 0 0.08. Or $4,500. Putting these two together, we get one point zero eight and that will give us the total cost of the car. I'll just bring in my calculator and I'll enter in what I see there four thousand five hundred times one point zero eight and then I hit equals and there's the total cost of the car four thousand eight hundred and six hundred dollars four thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars There's our answer for A. Now to answer part B, we're dealing with compound interest. So I'm going to bring in a TVM solver to help me out with this part. You'll remember a TVM solver is just a program on your graphing calculator. Here's how you get to it. Hit the apps button, then enter for finance, then enter on TVM solver, and then here's a list of variables that we need. This first one, N, is the number of payments we have total. Well, when I look at the info in part B, it says it's compounded monthly for two years. Monthly means 12 times a year, and we have two years. 12 times 2 is 24. The interest rate is given as 8%, so I'll just keep that as 8 and hit enter. Present value, that's the amount of the loan as we start off with. We need a loan for $4,500. The payment is what we're solving for. That's the monthly payment. And the future value, we hope the future value is zero. In other words, once we've paid off the car, we don't owe anything in the future. So I'll leave that as a zero. Next is the payments per year. And we're talking about a monthly payment, so there's 12 months in a year. And it's also compounded monthly. So I'll leave that compound periods per year as 12. Now I'll scroll up to payment, and I'm going to solve it by hitting alpha, then enter. And there we go. The monthly payments will be just over $200, $203.52. So I'll just add that $203.52 per month. Now let's give you a problem that you can practice. Help this fella out who's trying to buy a truck and see what it's going to cost him per month. A used truck is advertised for sale in a newspaper for $8,000. A. 
calculate the total cost of the vehicle, and B, calculate the monthly payment for an $8,000 loan at 6% interest compounded monthly for three years. All right, so try that one using the steps I showed you on the left, and I'll post the answer when you're ready. In part A, the total cost of owning the truck is $8,640. And in B, we found the monthly payment to be $243.38. If you didn't get this right in B, have a look at the variables here on the TVM solver, particularly N, which is 12 times 3, because we have monthly payments for three years. $243.38.